Why is the bus industry here talking about making our cities the best they can? Well, we buses are here because we understand that how we move people in our cities, whether it's by car, bus, train, bike or foot, is underpinned by how our cities are planned and how their urban form develops. The shape of our cities are determinants of how we travel. Much of the research the BIC has undertaken over the past few years has been looking at, for example, the concept of a 20-minute city. The 20-minute city is a key way to solve many of these problems that we're facing. It needs higher densities, more mixed use, better local bus services and a focus on place. This is a real opportunity for the bus industry to take a leadership role in this sort of design uh, about neighbourhoods and cities. At the 1911 census, 10 years after Federation, 42% of the population was living in rural areas. By 2006, only 12% of Australians were located in rural areas. Today, 9 in 10 Australians live in urban areas and around 75% of the total population live in our cities. Looking forward, between now and 2050, three quarters of Australia's projected population growth is expected to occur in our state capitals. These are massive changes in our settlement and what's happened. Um, so I think that city smart growth is an, an essential part of our future national success, as is stitch together integrated thinking and governance about bringing together land use planning, transport planning, infrastructure planning and job creation. It isn't an option, it will be essential. But it's building that total transit system, the total integrated system. It's talking about not just buildings, but the spaces in between and how people can, in fact, uh, get around, how they can uh, not have to use a litre of petro to get a litre of milk, but to be able to, in fact, walk to those places to bike or take public transport to create the 20 minute neighbourhood that's so very important. Better cities are a solution to all of the challenges and problems that our cities face. Problems of a growing, and, or a challenge of a growing and ageing population, traffic congestion, costs of living, housing affordability, improved health and wellbeing, better urban design and functionalities. Better cities are part of the solution to those issues and challenges. Poor cities are the cause. Great cities don't just happen. They are really the result of decades of careful thinking and shaping about the sort of cities we want. And it's great to hear Adelaide made it into the top 10 from Lonely Planet. The Economist Intelligence Unit has rated Melbourne the world's most livable city three years in a row. That's pretty remarkable. There's a fair consensus out there is what needs to be done. Probably starts with this. A national urban policy would be good. If we're going to have better cities, that would be a good starting point. There are nations like China, South Korea and Singapore investing in these policies and investing in research centres on that. Singapore's just invested in a, a, a centre for livable cities because they want to rise up the livability rankings in the Economist rankings and the Mercer's Index. It's a productivity and employment agenda. It's not necessarily about greenness and livability.